Hey everyone, it's Ellie from LZ Bell's Bookshelf and I am back with the first of many tutorials on how to use my journal kits. Um, if you haven't already, they are in, uh, you can go to my shop and look, they are already in there. Um, I am offering five of them in Traveler's Notebook and regular size and the other four are, four or five are just Traveler's Notebooks. I'm working on getting them all converted to regular size. Um, I just need to see if I can get more of the fabrics that I purchased for those kits. So anyway, um, what I wanted to show you first was the filler papers that come with the kits. I tea dyed them instead of leaving them plain because I wanted them to be grungy. So we have the lined kit and I have the little mini graph paper um, and I also coffee dyed the ledger. This side is going to be a page and this side is just going to be like the backing of some of my journal cards. I also took the colored paper that comes with the autumn kits and I tea dyed that again so you can see it's got brown and yellow. I like the way that looks. I coffee dyed my bigger graph paper and I also coffee dyed the coloring book page. Um, in the Halloween kits, you won't get the coloring book page. Um, I think that's it. You'll get a um, piece of black cardstock, a piece of orange cardstock, and you'll also get a book page from Alfred, Alfred Hitchcock's Haunted House. Um, you can dye the cardstock, it probably won't make much of a difference, it just makes it thicker, but I would dye everything else, especially like the book page, so it come out really neat. Um, I did not also dye the music page that comes because it's already aged and it's also fairly um, delicate. So, And the regular sized um, journal kits will come with a 9x6 yellow envelope, I think it's 9x6, and I also tea dyed that. So I'm going to show you what we can do with that today. Um, then I wanted to show you the kit that I'm going to be working with. Well, actually, first, let me show you these freebies. So um, I am sending the, the kit pages with blank backs. And of course, you can do whatever you like on the back of them, but I am going to send everyone who purchases a kit. Um, the regular size kits will get, if you buy Halloween, you'll get this one. If you buy an autumn, you'll get this one. The back here is from Digital Curio. And I just um, put the lines over it and you know did all that stuff so these are going to be offered as extra freebies that you can print on the backs if you don't want them um, inked or cough, like stained or you know stamped or whatever you wanted to do so there's those um, those for the traveler's notebook and this is the regular size I'm sorry I got them mixed up here so here's the regular size Halloween and the regular sized um, autumn yeah, so these will come in your email as well as any freebies from Paulette. And if you purchase something from her shop first and write TLC in the comments, I mean the notes to seller when you purchase one of my kits, you'll get an extra freebie from me, Halloween or Autumn. And trust me, they are gorgeous, both of ours. So this is the linen and leaves um, half size kit that I'm going to be working with. Um, I used some parchment leaves from Digital Curio and I also used from her kit um, scattered leaves. So pretty much all the pages are different leaves. There's some grit on that one. Some grungy. I'm in love with these kits. Just love them. That's why I'm going to use them. <laughs> and this one's got the script in the back. This is the same one that I used to make the, um, the backing papers. And then these are from her um, ephemera kits. So there are the 12 pages for this kit. So I'm going to show you how to construct the cover. So I have my 9x6 envelope. Um, I cut out the little metal clasp because I am going to sew this and I don't want my needle to accidentally hit that. Um, <clears throat> you don't, excuse me, I'm getting a cold. You don't have to sew it. You can just glue the fabric on if you want to. And you can keep, you can have the, the pockets open. You can cut this side and have this pocket open too. But for this, I want to stitch it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just glue down this um, tab here. If you want your um, envelope to be thicker, you can slide a piece of cardstock inside and that will give your cover more um, thickness. So 
that's closed. Then on the other side, <clears throat> and you can choose to have this side showing, you can choose to have this side showing. I don't mind this showing at all, but I, I think I'm going to put this um, under the fabric. So I'm just going to glue stick all around this, and I'm going to do half first because this glue dries pretty fast. And I'm going to take the upholstery fabric that comes with the linen and leaves and smoosh it down really good. And I'll go back and glue this side. Yeah, get it all up in there. Okay. Then I'm going to go back and reinforce the edges so that way it's easier for me to trim the excess. It's not holding very well, but ugh, it's just because it's a cheap glue stick. But it's just good enough to hold um, until I can stitch it on. Alright. That's good enough there, so I'm going to trim the excess fabric off here. So it'll take me a second, so I'll pause. Okay, so I have trimmed all of my fabric, and you can see it's almost perfectly straight, but not really, but it's good enough for me. Um, I'm actually going to leave the inside here just as it is, but I'm going to add some pockets that I got from Janice. Um, I, I like this, this raw paper look and you know it's also already the color of autumn so I'm going to go and stitch around this and I will be right back. Okay so here we have our cover it is fully stitched I didn't do anything too decorative just zigzag because it's kind of hard to see as it is. So now the only thing left to do is to choose what side of the upholstery you would like to be your cover and I think I'm going to choose this side because it has the leaves and a little design down here and I'm just going to fold it high off get that kind of even so now you have your cover and I am going to decorate the front in another video first I'm going to put these pockets from Janice on so I am using my clear glue tacky glue from Aileen's I love this for pockets embellishments um, not buttons and not lace but paper stuff it holds pretty quick works really well. Um, for those other things I mentioned, I would use hot glue. So, I'm going to put that here right closer towards the bottom. That way I have stuff to, um, I can have things stick out at the top. And these um, pockets are just pulled from my stash. Like I said, they're from Janice. So you, if you guys don't have them, you can just make your own big pockets. Or you can make smaller pockets, or you don't have to put pockets at all. I just decided to um, swipe from my stash just for some ideas for you guys. And these will also give a little bit more thickness to your cover. And I'm going to line it up with the other, even though you won't really see it lined up. When you have your pages in. So there we go. See, it holds pretty fast already. So now we have our pockets in here. And that is the regular sized cover. Um, all the other journal kits that come regular size, the process will be exactly the same, just um, exactly what I did. So then I have a Halloween Traveler's Notebook. You will get a piece of cardstock um, in your kit with the um, cover design printed on it already. And so I just trimmed mine down to eight and a quarter by eight and a half. That is the size that I like to use for my covers. So that will equal eight and a quarter by four and a quarter once it's folded. Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing and glue stick all the way around. It's really simple. If you want your covers to be thicker, and more durable, you can um, sandwich another piece of cardstock in between this part and your fabric. 
I however like them a little bit thin because I'm going to be putting them in my actual traveler's notebook cover. So I'm just going to pick a spot and line it up on this fabric. And they're also really flexible when you only have um, the one cardstock. Then I'm going to go around the edges again and make sure the edges are glued. It is so hot out today, guys. How is it where you are? Is it hot? Is it getting cold yet? Are your leaves turning yet? I'm hoping for that day soon. Let me know in the comments how your weather is. Okay, so got all that glued. So now I'm going to trim around the edges. And I don't mind if there's a little excess. Not trying to be perfect, just I actually like that look of, you know, the grunginess, the junkiness. So really, really easy. Okay, and then I'm going to take this and stitch around the edges again, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have stitched around my edges, again with the same zigzag stretch, uh, stitch, nothing fancy because you can't really see it with the pattern. But I just love this pattern, so I don't think I'm going to decorate it at all. It doesn't really need anything. And the inside, I will probably put some pockets or something in there, smaller ones. Um, sorry about the noise, I had to turn my air on. It is like hot in this kitchen. also been tea dyeing today so my hands are kind of nasty. Alright so here is my awesome cover and you can see that it's very flexible and I like that. So there's that. Okay guys so that's the end of our cover tutorial. Um, the next tutorial I will be making tassels and then I will show you how to dye the backs of your papers and ink them and stamp and then I will see you then. Bye!